Service Tutoring and Reading. I hope everyone is doing well. This is Level 2, Part 3. A little bit of Level 2, Part 2 when it comes to this word list right here that begins with the vowel U. We have C-U-B-E. -E. This E makes the U say U, so it's cube. Without the E, it is cub. Then we have D-U-D-E. The word is dude. Without the E, it's dud. But with the E, it's dude, because E makes the U say U. Then we have T-U-B-E, -E, tube. Without the E, it's tub. With the E, it is tube, because the E makes the U say U. Then we have cute, because C-U-T-E, cute, because the E makes the U say U, so it's cute. Without the E, it is cut. But with the E, it is cute. Now let's go to level two, part three. We have some more rules to learn before we go over some new words. All right, a vowel, what is a vowel? That's right, A-E-I-O-U, sometimes Y, sometimes W. A vowel often needs another vowel to help it make its long sound. The other vowel makes no sound of its own. It tells you to make the first vowel say its name. Like in these words over here, our second vowel was the E, and the E did not make a sound, but it reminded us to make the U say its name. So that's how we got cube, dude, tube, and cute. All right, next rule. Words that sound alike but are spelled differently are called homonyms. Examples, meat, meat, and meat. They all sound the same, but they're spelt differently and they have a different meaning. Meat, M-E-E-T, means like if you and I would go meet at the park. M-E-A-T is the type of meat that you would eat if you ate meat. Then M-E-T-E -E is a rather older word and it was meant for more like a punishment, like a verdict in a, in a um, judging at like the courthouse. Then the next rule is when two vowels are close together, usually the first vowel is long says its name. And the second one is silent. Examples, pie and main. The E in the word pie isn't saying anything, but it's letting us know that we need to say I for I in this word, pie. And then main, the I isn't saying anything, but it's letting us know that the A needs to say A, like main, okay? And so when I went to school many, many years ago, in elementary school, it was two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So that's a saying that I used to remember. And then our next rule is pair of consonants. I have this little slash right here remind me of that this is one whole word, so I carry on. Let's see, consonants, which you cannot take apart or sound out one letter at a time. The main ones are S-H, sh, T-H, C-H, ch, and W-H. And as you notice, when I did W-H, I didn't say wa, okay? We want to be cognitive, pay attention, that we don't add extra A's to our words. Like when we're sounding the word D, D, we don't say duh. Or the word letter, the letter C, k, we don't say k, and the letter T, we don't say t, and the, you know, so we say k, d, t. Okay, when we sound out those letters. All right, and that's all for right now with the rules for level two, part three. I hope you're learning and enjoying. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more learning with Miss Rose tutoring and reading. And there's also Miss Rose's story time if you like to listen to stories and follow along. Thank you.